Do you like cakes? I love cakes. Yeah, he loves cakes. <laughs> but I'm not going to eat them. No, I'm not making a piece of them. No. <laughs> not till I've spoken. <laughs> Ikke for han ferdig å spise, han får smuler i munnen. Men dette med Dyer Straits og alt dette her har han sikkert hørt. You must have heard it a thousand times, Dyer Straits, Mark Knopfler. Yeah, it's... yeah. What about Guy Fletcher? Well, this is, this is a new experience for me. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't really know what it's like yet, because it's just started. Um, you know, having made an album, which I meant to do 20 years ago, mm. I just never had the time. Mm. And all of a sudden it just seemed like the right time to do it. When we, we finished Mark's album last year, um, about a year ago now, and so I felt like it. Everything just seemed to slot into place, and um, and time. Here we are now. I mean, it's amazing to me that I got it finished so quickly. But han stod også på scenen i går med Knopfler i Oslo Spektrum. Han er ute med sin første egne plate. You written all the you, you written yeah. all the all, all the tracks yeah. here, lyrics and music. Yeah, everything. Yeah. But Mark helps you a little on a couple of songs. Not on the writing. I mean, he he guessed, he plays guitar on two of the songs, um, which beautifully I might add, um, which is obviously nice. Um, but I just I just felt because I, I started writing songs twenty years ago, but I never really went at it seriously. And when I met Mark, of course, my life became very busy, um, so it just kept getting put on on hold. Mm. And so last year was the was it just when it all happened and all these songs came out. I don't really know where they came from, um, but it just it just all fell fell into place. Mm. Uh, uh, you're a busy musician too. You play mm. a lot of instruments. You yeah. played keyboard in the old Dire Straits, yeah. uh, but you play guitars, yeah. steel guitars. I play a bit of everything. A bit of everything. Yeah. But are you brilliant in playing no. all those? Things? <laughs> Not at You're all. Not. No, of course not. <laughs> I started playing bass years and years ago when I was 12, and I just always had an interest in the in the record making process. Okay. So I suppose I th would like to think of myself as a producer more than anything, because I'm always interested in all the elements. I don't really specialise in any one in particular. Um, I mean, as is demonstrated re here, really, I've, I've enjoyed making the whole thing from start to finish and mm. obviously w the things that I can't do I got professionals in to do like I'm not really a good drummer and I and you know obviously you didn't, Mark, do, the, you didn't do the drums I didn't yourself. do the drums Danny did the drums Danny Cummings who, mm. who's with us on Mark's tour mm. um, and obviously Mark and a few other fabulous musicians John McCusker played fiddle mm. and um, it's it really all that's when it starts to sound like a real record, you know, because obviously if I'd done everything, I think it would have not been <laughs> that good. <laughs> but is, is making your own records going to be your career now, or will you still go on playing them? I don't Mark? know. I mean, to be honest, I, this isn't something that I'd planned. Um, it's just something that I'd always wanted to do. And uh, as I said, it just felt like the right time. So, I mean, I've, I've, I've got songs. I've got more songs in my head, I think. Um, so I probably will do another one at some point, mm. you know, when the time's right. Mm. We'll see. Uh, uh, we heard we, we heard this uh, this uh, first uh, song, uh, "Love Is Coming Around," yeah. and "Imorata" is also about love. Yeah. Uh, There's a theme there, isn't there? <laughs> that, that's what I'm going to ask <laughs> you about. Why? Uh, well, no particular reason. Um, it just came out that way. I mean, "Love Is Coming Around" is a song that I actually wrote 17 years ago. There's two songs on the album that I wrote a long time ago. And the rest is, is all new. Uh, Inamorata is a new song. Um, I, I don't know. I just felt like writing about love. I mean, they're not all about love, but there is a there is a thread, mm. and it seemed appropriate to title the album mm. Inamorata. Mm. Your son is a musician too. Yeah, I tried to dissuade him. Yes, but he but he's, he was stubborn. He won't have it. He's stubborn. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a band called De Capulets. Um, they're not speaking to each other at the moment, but <laughs> they will. You know, it's like every, it's like all bands that you know they have their ups and downs, and they 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 gig and they and they they're energetic. Okay. They're fantastic, actually. So he, you know, he's 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 as determined as I think I was. So. Um, well, so just think, have to wish him luck. Just got to keep at it. Yeah. What are you going to play for us now, Guy? I'm going to play you the title track in Emirata. Emirata. Nice yeah. to have you. Thank you, you very can, much. You can go okay. to uh, our All little right. modest stage. Yeah. All right.